How's it going Scrub Gamers? Welcome back to another episode of Previously in DBS here at Scrub Games where we go over the week's news in one video so you don't have to look bit by bit, you can have a look at it, all the week's news in just one go, in one place. And for this week we're continuing on with the C17 Ultimate Squad spoilers and this week we go for the rest of yellow and also a bit into the green stuff as well. And not only that we also do have the results and some lists from the UK webcam locals that I run every Friday. Um, I don't, wasn't able to get all the deck lists, but I got some because I don't push for people to make sure they give them to me. I, I ask, basically ask for them and they don't have to give them because some, some people might want to play the decks and never a week or forever events. Uh, so I don't push for people that get them, uh, give it to me, but if they do give them to me, I will put them up in this to go over because people have been asking for the list and stuff. So let's have a look at the spoilers first. So we start off with the rest of yellow, which is a which is the yellow piccolo lead and it's nice to see we have another good piccolo leader after the we got a good one back with the surge leader but it was too good so Bandai decided to amend it but instead of amending it so it was still playable they basically killed the deck and since then we haven't really had a good piccolo leader like I don't count king piccolo as piccolo because they're actually different and um, now we finally get a new piccolo and it's actually a really good one and it's in well, my, my main colour is which was I like. So it's a yellow piccolo leader. On its front side, it's got an auto where you place one Namekian card from under you, from this from your hand under this card. So that's the cost. When this card attacks, you draw one card, then look at the top five of the cards of your deck. Add up to one green or yellow Namekian card among them to your hand and shuffle your deck. So that's really good. You place, basically place a card underneath it, a Namekian card, then you draw one and look at the top five. So you're still plussing one. But you're looking through two more two cards of your deck, so you're going through your deck a lot quicker than most leaders do. And it does have an alternative awakening negation, which is nice. So its awaken is when your life is a four or less, or there are two more cards under this card as the cost. At what is the requirement, which uh, is easy to do, just two swings with this lead, and you're done. You can draw you draw a card, switch it to one of your energy act mode, add cards from your life to your hand to your five left, and flip this card over. Now the so it's got mid range um, awakening, which is good. It's nice to have that one with just get, at least getting one from one one on tap. It's nice to have that, and the go down to five life is not too bad because uh, it kind of hints back to when we got the yellow, yeah, yellow dandy uh, stuff in the theme booster three, when uh, the super combo for that because it was yellow and Mechians so rolling on a wish. It had uh, Guru, which is a super combo, which is a free cost super combo that um, triggered when you had five or less life. So that was the trigger for this. Uh, which is quite nice. And then when it's awakened, you have a permanent where, when placing this card, when well, when, play, when placing battle cards under other cards to play skill costs for Namekian Union Absorb skills, you can use cards from this card instead. So from under the lead instead of paying, uh, taking it from a hand or anything like that, which is really nice. So it makes use of placing those cards under your lead, which you which you're doing. Um, and you'll still do it with the auto on the weakened side where you place one making card from your hand under this card and now instead of drawing one and switching for one you're now just drawing two when it attacks which is nice so you're still drawing faster for your deck but now you're not you're drawing a guaranteed draw two cards rather than um, draw and then search and if you don't use the union sort of uh, stuff you also do have another use for the cards underneath it which is actually battle once per turn, place one card from under this card in its own drop area, and this card gains 5k power for the battle. So it's really nice, just like Kirildo, to have that make use of cards under it by just detaching them whenever you need to gain 5k for a battle. And that's really player's turn because it's actually a battle as well. So a really strong pick leader, there, a really nice one. I'm glad I uh, glad uh, got this. It's just heavily focused on the mechie and stuff, but we do have some good mechie cards. And we got some more in the set as well. And I feel this deck will only get better and better the more like yellow and green Namekians we get it. And it's just a very strong genetic, genetic uh, generic leader for Namekians. However, the Dende unison for it isn't great. It's a one co a one specified cost yellow 1k unison. With Rejuvenate, once per turn, remove 5 card markers from this card. It's not often you get to do that. That's quite a heavy cost. More, I think a lot more than the other ones that have Rejuvenate. And it's got an auto where once per turn, when one of your Namekian cards activates, you need absorb. Place the top card from your deck under this card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, switch to the rest mode. Now it's not the great. I wish this, I would have preferred this to be 
uh, optional, the also not mandatory, because you're already going through your deck quite a bit with the leader. That uh, mandatory putting cards in there that can't then be used or just being lost to this is not great. And even its marker skill is not great as well, because it's activate main. Prefer a plus one. Play up to one yellow piccolo card with energy cost of one from your hand. Now that's really, isn't really not helpful. Mainly because it could have been just any one cost Namekian from your hand to play it to basically work with the strategy. But no, it's got to be a piccolo card, which is already really restrictive. And it's got to be a yellow one, which then halves it from the, like, from the other colours. Like, it's normally in two colours for piccolo stuff being yellow and green. And now it halves it by being yellow and four, four I right, basically restricts you to having using only yellow piccolo cards which isn't great. I don't feel like if it was just any one drop yeah, uh, one drop Namekian would be that bad but it just means that this card really isn't going to be played which is a shame. Then going off for more yellow piccolo stuff so we did get Union Absorb stuff and um, these it is spilling to green a bit which people got upset by but then it is Namekians they are normally in green and they've been going into yellow as well and it only took up two green spot, spots, but then that's not so bad because green is normally uh, exp like the experimentation colour for that band I used to test out ideas, like, at least for the last few sets. So it's not too bad, it's going into a little bit of green. But um, still, we got uh, it's, uh, it's more so that you can play in different colour. Uh, so you can go for a green route if you want to, or a yellow route. So both these two cards uh, are the same, like we got two different Union Absorb Piccolos for each colour for green and yellow, and these two are exactly the same, just the only difference is colour and the name. So we've got Piccolo Radio Fuse, the yellow one, and Piccolo First Fusion, the green one. So they both got Union Absorb, where it was per turn, for one energy. If your leader card is a Namekian card, and you choose one Namekian card in your hand or battle area and place it under this card, as the requirement, as the cost, you play up to what? Play up to one yellow piccolo with energy cost of three from your deck to your hand on top of this card that shuffle your deck if you look through it. So it's very restrictive on what you put, play out. It's got to be a yellow piccolo and it's got to be a cost of three. So it's a very restrictive on one. So you can still play multicolor ones as long as it's a three cost because it has yellow in it. And it also plays, and also you can play a put a Namekian from your hand or battle area on top of it underneath it, which is not too bad. And you play one from your deck or hands so if you draw into the your own copies. It's not the end of the world. And this one as well is the like you got because we got two of them one one like with most archetype you got one that's a uh, cantrip where it just draws a card and one that's a searcher and the this one is the searcher where um, you look at look at the top five cards of your deck and up to well the yellow one adds a yellow Namekian card among them to your hand so the yellow one there's a little bit of a difference the yellow one when it's played looks at top five to add a yellow Namekian card among them to your hand and you shuffle your deck. Whereas the green one uh, looks at the top five cards left a green or yellow Namekian card, the entry cost of four or less, among them to your hand and shuffle your deck. So the yellow one is for any yellow Namekian, whilst the green one looks for uh, a four cost or less green or yellow Namekian. So there's a little bit of difference. I mis misread that. But they're basically the same in the fact that they're searcher ones. And the targets from, I think there is a target outside of. Yeah, there is a target outside of the set, which is a skillless 30k piccolo you can play back from, I think it might be in a draft box maybe? I know it's like a quite old set. I think it might be the draft box 6 that we got a 30k skillless free drop uh, piccolo from yellow, so you can get that. But the other targets we got in the set are piccolo with nails might and piccolo fusing with nail. So piccolo, piccolo with nails might is a free drop uh, uh, 20k yellow one. With an evolve where you can evolve for two energy on top of Piccolo or Nail, you're not really going to use that often. But it's got two autos. First one is when this card is played or attacked, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards in Rispin and Gale. So you can use it on its play twice because it's not got once per turn. So you play it, pops like a rest mode, swing, pops like a rest mode. And it's got an auto where if it's using in your opponent's turn and it's using a combo from your hand, you can choose one of the card in your battle area and switch to active mode. I don't know how relevant it's going to be, but. Um, it's got that option, but it's more for the first auto when you play it, or attack, pops like a rest mode, which is something that yellow normally does, it KOs things in rest mode, and it's normally interacting with resting stuff, or doing something things in rest mode. And then the multicolor one we have is Piccolo Fusing with Nail, which is a, well, it all multicolors up energy exhaust, but it's got a, it's a 15k crit, with a permanent, permanent where once per turn, if this card would be KO'd in battle, you can place one card from this card in its own drop area instead. 
And then activate battle once per turn, switch this card to rest mode, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of 5 or less in rest mode, KO it. And if you KO a card, your opponent discards one card from hand. So that's not too bad, but it's not great. You're going to be one attacking with it, and you're not going to want to have to uh, combo with this piccolo here, the the yellow one, to un untap him, switch it back. So the activate battle isn't like, is having critical one at that activate battle. You're going to want to keep it to switch in rest mode to trigger that effect, but then you also want to swing or crit. So it kind of contradicts itself. But that's the targets for the, the the first one drop, and then we have the second one drop, which is the cantrip. So both of these just when it's played, draw one card, and it's got a little bit of a different in the uh, union union sword for this one. So that we got piccolo res re fuses resolve, resolve, and piccolo fusing fervor. So they're both union sword once per turn for two energy. If your leader card is a mechian card and you have three or more energy, so this one's restricted to you have to be have three or more energy to play this and cost one more. And you choose one Namekian card from your hand in or your battle area and place it under this card. That's the requirement. You play up to one green Piccolo card with energy cost of four from your deck. On top of this card and then shuffle your deck. I have to think about this then because uh, they've got a little bit of wording where, yeah, the, the wording's a little bit different, but they basically both play one green Piccolo card with energy cost of four or less from your deck on top of the card, then shuffle your deck if you look for it. Just a really, they're both the same, but they're worded differently, which is uh, might be a bit confusing to some people. So this is not too bad. This is this gives you uh, some nice targets. To one of the best targets that is uh, printed that is outside of the set is Piccolo Assimilated Ability, the one we had from ages ago from Draft Box, I think one, which is uh, has barrier 20k and activate. Uh, activate battle once per turn. You can choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and that's with energy cost of five or less in KO. And if you KO it, you KO it, you draw a card. So that's a good target for it, especially because it's got barrier. And we've got two more targets in the set. So we've got first one being Piccolo Fusing with Kami, which is a four cost 20k green card with critical, as it does have also have evolve for free onto a Piccolo Kami, which you're never really going to do. Is an, and it's all an outfit battle once per turn. You choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and she goes to four or less, ignoring barrier and KO it. So it's just nice because it's got that uh, barrier removal, but it's only four or less, which is still good enough going for barrier. And then we've got the multicolor one being Piccolo, Fuse of Kami, which is a four cost 24k um, multicolor one with energy source, double strike, and critical. So it's nice having that double strike crit with an also with an evolved skill of one yellow and any two ever energy on top of Piccolo or Kami. Now he's got a permanent where if this card has one or more cards under it and you would it would be removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, you place all your cards underneath this into a zonish drop area instead. So it's got a one turn use uh, protection from being removed. And it's also as when this card is played, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier and KO them. So it's got a one turn use when it's played, KO up to two things for barrier. But preferably I would go for the green one because it's only a zero cost 5k combo in hand, so it's not dead, really dead now because you want to waste energy comboing that. It's got critical, it doesn't have the shovel strike, that's not too bad. But it does have an active battle that's once per turn, that's more than one one time use. So it's your player's turn, popping things for barrier. And it both, and it doesn't have to worry about, like while the multicolor one hits anything that's ignoring barrier in rest mode, but it's got to be in rest mode, whereas the green one just hits four or less for ignoring barrier. And that's normally where most things are for Barrett you want to take care of. But, but so these are still good targets, but I'm going to be preparing the uh, Piccolo Fusing with Kami for my deck, I, f I feel, as long with Piccolo Assimilated Ability. So that's the four drops there. And then we go into the other uh, Namekian support. So we got uh, Nail the Protector, one drop, and Kami Defendi uh, Guardian of Earth. These also have like the same as the Piccolo ones. Where one's a cantrip being Kami when it's played draw one card, and Nail being the searcher where when this card is played, look at the top five cards of your deck, add it to one yellow mechanic card with energy cost of four or less, or one un yellow unison with a specified cost of one among them to your hand and shuffle your deck. And they both have a permanent where while this card is under a yellow piccolo card in your battle area, it gets what plus one K power. So you can use these to increase the power of cards under it, like it does stack up a little bit, but it's not too bad. But it only works on yellow piccolos, which, unless you're running the piccolo, yellow piccolo stuff, which isn't as, doesn't look to be as great as the green stuff, apart from the little one cantrips. Um, 
I'm not sure where. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for these. Like I normally just run some of the yellow ones, go into the green four drops and stuff. And uh maybe that yellow piccolo that pops things in a uh, rest mode, which isn't too bad. And then we got weight on one's shoulders. And this is like a champ for the piccolo lead. So it's got an activate is a zero cost with two two activate battles. The first one is if it's your opponent's turn. Choose up to one of your well, up to one Namekian card in your battle area, switch to active mode, and it gets plus one K power for the battle. For free, that's not too bad, and you get to restand the card, which is nice. So it's protected from any other future attacks. And then we got an activate battle for one yellow if it's your turn. Choose up to one of your Namekian cards, so you can choose your leader as well. And then for each Namekian card under it, it gets plus 5k power up to a maximum of 15k power and double strike for the battle. Now this is really good because with your leader you have to put a, you can you're putting a number of cards in it when you attack. And if you've got at least three under it and use this, when you attack with it you can give your leader a extra 15k and double strike for that battle, which is a little bit better than Champa. Which uh for the deck anyway, which is quite nice. So that is uh that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice to have. A little built in champion that's a zero energy, but you still got to pay that one for it. But it's it's just a shame that his activate battle on your opponent's turn isn't that bad. If it just uses a 5k power boost for any Namekian, that would be nice, but a 1k boost. And switching in Namekian, like switching Namekian is not too bad, but the 1k power isn't too, isn't great. But it, it could make the difference though, with that still. And then, um,. Then we've got some other ones, so you can't forget that there are more say, uh, Namekians than just Kami, Nail, and Piccolo. And we've got some of the use, uh, six, Universe 6 ones. So we've got some other Union Absorb ones in Sonel and Perina, Burden Shouldered. They both have the same Union Absorb, one for one energy, but focusing on the same character. So it's, uh, for one energy, choose one Namekian card in your hand of battle area, place it on this card. Play up to one of the same character, so for Sonel it's a Sonel and Perina it's Perina. With we'll entry cost of two or three on, from your deck or hand on top of this card, then shuffle your deck if you look for it. Now in this set they both have a three drop version to play on top of it, but they do, there is also a two drop version to play on top of them. We'll way back, I think from the set seven, I think it was, when we had the you know, green, yellow Universe 6 stuff, and they had a Sonel and Perina, which I think both, when they played, searched the other one out to their hand. Which is not too bad. I think they were both 15k two drops as well. And they also have a uh, auto when this card is played from your hand, play up to one Perina card with an energy cost of one from your deck in rest mode. And it's your deck, that's for Sonel. And then Perina plays Sonel. So when you play, you play the other one in rest mode from your deck to the board. But uh, like I, I've seen people complaining about that, unlike the yellow trunks deck, these don't have barrier and. Uh, yeah, so they kind of are the same as the Piccolo, no, uh, Fujita and Trunks, but they don't have the option to draw, and they don't have Barrier, which is a, uh, which doesn't, which makes a bit, doesn't make really sense really, how you give one lot Barrier, but one lot not Barrier, but that's Bandai for you. And then the three drops to go on to are just skillless ones, so uh, you got Sonel and Prina, Freight Drip. Uh, 30k free drop skillness cards. So that's the these are the second and third Namekians, yellow Namekians you've got with 30k power skillless because you've got the Piccolo one for set six as well. So you could have a nice uh, skillless version of it, getting these the one drops to play into the 30k skillless ones, for like a big beat stick deck, if you want to see, which isn't too bad. And then we go into the green with Metacaller. So we get Metacaller first because with green, it's the leaders covered are cooler. Like standard caller, uh, meta caller, and Bandai revealed the meta caller one first. So it's uh, it's got an auto, so similar to the old, all the meta caller leaders have the same kind of auto, uh, where when you place it in your leader area, you play it to one big gate star field card from your deck, but this one plays the new one, which is a uh, big gate star nightmare regeneration, which we've seen from one of the previous episodes of this. And then it's got an auto where burst two, so meaning you place the top two cards of your deck in your drop area. You add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, play it to one infinite meta application meta caller from your deck, then shuffle your deck. So you've got some self awakening built onto the leader, which is nice, and you play uh, one of the more application callers from your deck to the board. In active mode, so you can swing that again, so you get two swings when it attacks. And now your awakening is when your life is at four or less, you may draw one card, play it to one infinite, infinite 
more application will come out. A caller from your deck, from your drop area, influence card over. So that's not too bad. You don't get an unsap, but you still get the player 15k beat stick. And draw a card. And now when you're awakened, you now have a permanent where if there are 20 or more infinite me multiplication meta caller in your energy area, battle area, and or drop area, this card gets 5k power. And that's just permanent to the leader player's turn. So you can make your leader a 20k lead if you've got enough of those little uh, 15k that you can play as many as you want in your deck in your on your, in your energy field or drop and it's nice that it counts energy because uh, sometimes you might need to charge them and now it's also is when it when it attacks you draw a card and play one infinite uh, uh, infinite multiplication multiplication meta caller from your deck bench off your deck so you deck them in further by drawing one and then playing one from your deck and it's nice that now you get the draw card rather than just add a card, add a, uh, one of these multiplication callers from your drop area to your hand. So it's the first meta call we've had that actually has some draw onto it, which is nice. And it fins your deck quite well as well, because with the burst on the front and then on the awakened side, drawing one and playing one is quite quite good. So we probably got we've looked to have like uh, a, a lot better meta call than we previously had. And then the unison we got revealed with it is Mecha Freezer Back from the Abyss, a free specified green one with 15k power. It's got a permanent where you can play this card. When playing this card, you can pay its energy cost using infinite multiplication meta caller from your battle area's energy. Now, I think it does, you still count the color when you play it. So uh, if you tap the yellow ones, they still count as yellow, so you still tap, need to tap green. But it's also got a, uh, two marker skills as well, where you plus one, and if it main, discard one card from your hand as the cost. Your opponent discards a card from their hand, so you discard to make them discard. And in a minus seven, where you choose three up to three of your opponent's battle card, uh, three of your opponent's cards in their hand and or battle area, and place them in his drop area. So every hit hit, uh, hit three cards from your opponent's hand, and you choose. So it's nice you get the choose cards from your hand rather than make them choose. Or you can go for battle area as well, and it places them there in the drop area. So anything that says it can't be killed, that bypasses, which is quite nice. So it doesn't look too bad. The unison isn't amazing, but it's still interesting. But the leader looks like it's finally like we're finally getting a good meta caller lead, which is nice. And then next we got revealed reprints. Well, technically reprints of uh, not technically reprints because they got different card numbers. But we get more infinite me multiplication meta caller, and now we get them in all different colors. So we got a new a new yellow one, just in case you wanted the old yellow one in foil. We also got a one in green to go with the green lead, and we also got them red because. If you remember, in set 9 we got some red cooler stuff, and it wasn't just for the cooler mill, there was also meta cooler stuff in red, and it ties in with that, if you're wondering why there was a red one, and just in case people were expecting the blue one, that's not the case, it's because these ones are for each colour that the meta cooler stuff has got support in, and it's got support in all these colours, and now you can get all these in foil, which is really nice. And yet, they're just basically copies of the, of the one we got back in set 2, where the two costs 15k's with two specified costs of their color and a permanent sin you can include as many copies of this card in your deck as you like. That's it. And then we've got some multicolor meta, uh, meta caller stuff. So we've got, I think there's quite a few meta caller stuff, uh, green yellow cards in this deck, and some taken over by the, uh, one, well, one by the super combo, some by the piccolo lead, and then some by meta caller. So we got three meta caller cards in uh, in green yellow. We got a one SR, a rare, and a common. So the SR is meta caller enhanced menace. This is the uh, what's it called the care what the name of the for the energy cards are called now. We got this one is the check land. That's the word check land for meta caller. So it's got energy source and blocker. Also has a permanent where if you have a meta caller card in play, and you get this card's energy exhaust in all skill in all areas. So you're not going to get this down turn one as a check land, but you will for turn two if you have a meta caller card in play, which is easy enough to do since you can play it out the infinite multiplication and there are one drops as well. You can get this down turn two to have a multicolor and you need that one that yellow energy at least for the new fill card as well. And it also has an auto where when this card is played from your hand, look up the top, cut seven cards of your deck, play up to three infinite multiplication meta caller among them to in, your ha in rest mode, then shuffle your deck. So turn two to set up that new eight drop we've seen, that has a successor. You can play this 
to potentially play at the three from the top of your deck, you have to look at the top seven. Since you're going to be playing a lot of them, you're likely most of the time to see at least at least three of them in the top seven. And it's just a two. It's ever that it's just a five k blocker for two energy. But still, that's a pretty good effect and nice to have a little check land. Like most, uh, we're getting a lot of check lands like that are for specific archetypes that like we got in the last set. We got that nine drop Zamasu. That's for Zamasu leads. Then we've got Mega Caller, Newfound Foe, so we've got a uh, kind of searcher for this one. So it's a 15k 4 drop with uh, energy source and successor, so for one yep, one green energy, replacing a total of four energy of battle cards in your battle area that are green, yellow, and what you can, or green and yellow. And it's got two advent mains, and they're both limit one. The first one is if your leader card is a Mega Caller card, and you discard this card and one Mega Caller card in your hand as the cost. You look at the seven cards from the top of your deck, and up to two Metacaller and or Metacaller core cards among them to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So it's quite nice to see kind of like a little search shift for looking at the top seven. It's quite it's quite a lot. And yeah, you do discard this card and another copy to add two, so you're not plussing off this. You're just filling your deck. And then the ever active main is when you're ever on board after playing it, which is the limit one. Choose the two Metacaller cards in your battle area and you get 5k power for the turn. So that's similar to how the yellow, um, the yellow reboot lead, and I think the old one did as well, where you can activate one, activate battle once per turn to give one of your meta caller cards in your battle area 5k power. This allows you to give it to two, which is quite cool, and then have it main. And then we've got the meta caller course energy source. This is a two cost 15k with a one cost 5k combo instead, of, unlike the others, which has one cost, one cost 10k combo. It has blocker as well as energy source and an auto where when this card is in your hand is played or using the combo, play it to one infinite meditation corner from your deck in rest mode to shuffle your deck. So not amazing, like less combo power, but if you and so you, unless there's a way to reduce the combo cost, you can, you're gonna be paying one to get this for just 5k combo and really the SI does it a lot better playing potentially more from your deck in rest mode. And while it's a bit more power, uh, a bit stronger, the at least the SR can play a few more. But that's the multicolor caller support. And then for the last last few weeks we got before we get to the extra card we got revealed as well, we've got the meta caller multiplying threat we saw from the strategy site, which is uh, one of those self awakeners one drops where also when add one card in your life to your hand is the cost. When this card attacks, look up to hot five cards of your deck. Play it to one infinite met multiplication meta caller among them in rest mode, then shuffle your deck, and this card gets 1k power for the turn, so building up your board. And with the old reboot uh, yellow one, you can use this to, uh, I think, I don't know if it counts yellow, but you can use this to help uh, awaken quicker. And nice uh, self awaken as well for, you can you spam, with, with the green print of the multiplication caller, you can spam, have this in. Um, Every yellow deck, and ever, ever green decks to kind of span the board with 15k beat sticks and awaken as well if you need be. And then we got Cyclopean Guard, uh, Cyclopean Guard mass production model, same as the old yellow one just now in green, where 5k blocker for 200 and two costs as well. With a permanent, where while you have a big Getty star in your battler, you can play it, play this from your hand without paying his energy costs, like some of those blockers we used to get from the um, from beginning of the game, but instead of having a certain leader. You just have to have Bigetti on your drop area, and then a one drop skill, uh, one one drop 10k skillless battle card as well of the same card. Then we've got the extra card, with, which is a, a hopeless sight. So this is a one drop counter attack. They get the attack. Additionally, if you you may discard one card from your hand, if you do play up to one infinite multiplication meta caller from your drop area to the board, that's not too bad. And a gate, and you can discard a um, infinite multiplication to play itself. And there's also got an activate main where for one yellow, one green, and two of any color, as well as paying the energy cost for the card as well. Because remember, when you play an, an extra card, you've got to play the printed cost plus anything in the skill. So this will be cost five, including two green, one yellow, and two of any other color. If your leader card is a meta caller core card, play up to 100 infinite multiplication meta caller from your drop area. Now, I know some of you might be watching and thinking, how can you have 100? Because you can, there's a limit to your deck of only having a maximum of 60 cards. But if you remember the Go Tanks we got back in set 5, I think it was, or more recently, I think, that, like one that allowed to bounce up to 100 battle cards when it's played, it's more f uh, flavor than it is actually realistic. Because, like in the movie, called a, like, 
makes like over like a hundred copies of himself in the movie, and that's why it says a hundred. Like you can't play a hundred, but it's the just flavor for the movie because that's where it's from. And also remember that network main does require four energy because just like with dirty burst with its activate uh, main, main, when you play an extra card, you pay the printed cost, which is one. And then you play anything in the skill you're playing, so you'll play the one card for the cost and the four in the activate main, resulting in five energy to play the activate main skill. And that's it for the spoilers this week. That's all we've got up until the Sunday, which is today. And we do have the UK webcam locals week three results. So we had a nice 14 people, so one less from last week, but still having a good uh, showing. And some people had, weren't available to it, but we can still get people coming back to it and enjoying it. We have the results. So we have. Um, Going from first, we had King Piccolo winning with A Cold's double double O double nine, going four O in the event. So King Piccolo taking it two weeks in a row by different people. Second, we have myself playing Blue Green Margin Boo, the one from set fourteen, going three one. Then we have Tattoo Journey with Zeno Sin three one. Fourth, we have Bloodshot Josh from Team Deck Planet, going three one with SS4 Vegeta. And then from fifth to tenth, we have the people that went two wins, two losses, being uh. Rikuzi with SSG Trunks, Giovanni with Green Turtles, Dav with Skate of Gia Zeno, Dan the Man with Finn, Gop Duelist with AOD and Callum with AOD as well. And then from 11th to 13th we have the people that went 1 win 3 losses, being Ira Torn with Yellow Flip Gohan from I think set 15 I think. Then we got Ryan with uh, Ryan Johnson with Geneva Mill and big annotation with Slightfoot Freezer going 1 3 as well. And then in 14th place, we have Ethan L, who is playing Reboot Announcer going 0 4. But these is the results. So, as you can see there, once again, really only the only deck that um, is multiplied is AOD. So, once again, another week where we only had um, one case of two, two of the same decks, uh, leaders and archetypes being played, which in this case was AOD. And uh, once again, a lot of variation, which is nice to see. And we do have lists as well for. The, uh, I managed to get two lists. I managed to get the first place and my own list as well from coming second. So for first place we have the King Piccolo deck from Acol. He managed to provide me the list thankfully as well so you can see the first place one. I'll at least make sure for each week that I definitely get the first place one so you can see what one. And I'll try and get as many many of the other lists. Mainly top eight unless you want certain ones. Uh, so if you ever want certain ones, always apply on the post I put up after the like with the results or on these videos to ask for the um, lists and I'll try and get them, I'll try and chase them down the get them, uh, especially if they're requested. So we got the, this is the main list we got for the, uh, for Acol playing in the webcam event. So that was his main deck and then for his side deck, this was his side for it as well. So just in case you want to try this out, because remember these webcam locals are a best of one with pre-side, meaning that you do have a sideboard but you do play out one game and uh, they're played weekly for free with no entry, no participation costs and no prizing just so people who either can't play, have nowhere to play or can't attend their locals for whatever reason want to play uh, using their own cards, they have a chance for the UK and don't be deterred by it being a UK locals it's UK because it's gone by UK time as well and set up in the UK so if you are from outside the UK like Acol was, I think he's from Australia uh, you can still come in to play and have some fun as well, testing out some fun decks or playing meta, whichever you want to do. So that was for first place, and we have for second place my list for green, blue, margin, blue. So it was with the green lead, margin, blue lead, uh, and this was the list I played includes side deck. Ended up going at 3 1. I think I did have one game where I did struggle to find a union piece, and so I managed to get to my turn to negate attack with the um, uh, boon negate. And then use that senior absorb to go through. But the info of the deck is basically just the turn one, get green energy, get your train chain start, uh, get your chain start with the boo, if if you can go up to the chain. Then at least by turn two, charge your blue energy, and then be able to go up to your four, at least your four drop for the first chain. Get your unison out so you got that ready, and then start using your energy blue energy to either use bean to keep playing using your, your green energy to keep playing stuff. Or at least playing at the Hercule, the playback of one drop boo from underneath your four drop to draw a card, get the effect of the boo to either draw or search, and then start a new chain to keep going. Those four drops keep spamming them out, and then get tokens out as well, and just going wide and going all, and going in a lot. 
Then you have Rubio and a bit of hand control. Uh, aggression with the OD Bardock. Champa to help finish off and pan. And Dormant to help protect along with the Boon Negate, which also allows you to then go further up to your chains. And then with the with the Union support, um, we have the Freezer, because your Unison is hard to remove once you've got a uh, Boo out with its protection. Because while you've got and you give it a servant, it can't be attacked by any of your opponent's cards. So i to make use of these freezers, and then for blue as well, along with the Hercule Bean to make use of that blue energy for extending your plays or giving yourself more energy. You also have East Kai, which is a great one, being a cantrip, and make it so if your opponent wants to play establish stuff on your board, they're discarding putting a card from their hand to bomb your deck as well. So that is it for the uh, for this week for the spoilers and for the webcam lo locals. If there are any decks you want to see from the webcam, any of those ones you want to see, comment down below and I'll try and see if I can push to get them and put them in the description so you can check them out. But once again, thank you for watching. Feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it and enjoy these, uh, the news coming out every week on a Sunday. Comment down below if there's anything you want me to do or cover and I'll try and get that best or if anything you want me to correct. If I got anything wrong, I'll improve it every time. And also feel free to subscribe, it helps me get to my um, goal of a thousand subs, which I'm currently over a third of the way there. And also by clicking the notification bell, you get alerts when my videos drop, so you're aware. So once again, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.